In this video, you will learn how to identify outliers in your variable. An outlier is an object that deviates significantly from the rest of the data points. Here in this chart, you can see that all the data points, they are all in the straight line. But one of the point is here and this is deviating from all this point and this point is known as an outlier because it is not following the pattern. It is not here along with the other point. It is very far away from this point and this is known as an outlier and we need to find the outliers in the data set and we also need to find the method which can help us to treat this outlier and in this tutorial we will see how we can identif identify outlier and how we can treat it and make our variable outlier free let's import pandas as pd import pandas as pd import numpy as np i'm going to make one variable df in this i will save my csv file i will call the method pd dot read underscore csv and inside this i will pass my csv file name boston dot csv now let us look at the head of our data frame i will write df dot head and here in the output you can see we got our data frame here and we have columns such as this cream, ZN, Indus, Jazz, Nox, RM, H, etc. Now we are going to find the outlier for one of the variable. Let's say we are going to find outlier for this variable RM. Now to check the outlier, we need to import the visualization library such as Seaborn and Matplotlib. Let's import those library. Import Seaborn as SNS. Import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt now i'm going to make a plot here i will write sns dot box plot so whenever you want to identify outlier you need to create a box plot it tells you the distribution of your variable and it will show you the outliers present in your variable now let us see how we can identify using the box plot I have written sns.boxplot and inside this I will pass my variable and that variable will be part of this y y variable y variable or y axis not the y variable on the y axis and that variable is rm and this rm variable is present in our data frame df so I will call df and inside this then the variable rm then I will give this chart a title let's say plt dot title and the title will be box plot and then plt dot show and here in the output you can see we got a box plot for this variable rm and this block box plot is giving us or telling us the distribution of this variable rm and here you can see some lines here this is the 25 percent then this one is the 50 percent this is 75 percent and about this is the maximum so this is the distribution of data it tells you that 25 percent of the data lies between this point from here up to here then 50 percent from here till here then 75 percent up to here and about 70 percent is here and all these black dots which are dark in color they all are outliers in our data set because they are at extreme ends they are either very low or they are either very high and we need to treat this outliers and we want to make this variable outlier free and to do that we will use the method interquartile range and using that we can treat any outliers and we can remove it from our variable so we will create a function to treat outliers we will define the limit for considering any point as an outlier and the limit will be any point below 25 percentile and above 75 percentile minus the iqr into the distance and the distance will be 1.5 and iqr is nothing the difference between this q3 and q1 is called the interquartile range or iqr so we have this q1 then this is q2 and then we have this q3 and now the difference between this q3 minus q1 is known as iqr 
and with the help of IQR we can treat the outliers in a variable. Now let's create a function. Let us define the function to find the outliers and I will define that function def then function name. Function name will be find boundaries because we are going to find the boundaries that will tell us where the outliers and inside this we will have three parameters first will be our data frame we will pass a data frame then we will pass a variable for which we want to get the outlier and then the distance distance we are going to keep 1.5 because 1.5 it controls the sensitivity of the range of our variable that is why we will take 1.5 then inside this function first we will define our IQR as I have told you IQR is nothing but the difference between the Q3 minus Q1 so in IQR we will take the variable df of variable then we will find the quantile for that variable quantile using the method quantile and we will have the 75 percent 0.75 minus df of variable dot quantile 0.25 so this is the formula to find the IQR that is 0. Point, the 75 percent minus 25 percent this is the formula once we find the IQR then we will define two boundaries the lower boundary and the upper boundary lower boundary means any point below this boundary will be treated as an outlier and upper boundary means any point above that point will be treated as an outlier so here you will see this is our lower boundary and this is our upper boundary and you can see we have outliers here in the upper boundary as well as in the lower boundary let us define the lower boundary first lower underscore boundary then we will call this variable df underscore variable whatever variable we are providing dot quantile and will be for, low, for lower boundary it will be 0 0.25 or the 25 percentile minus IQR that IQR we are calculating here minus IQR into distance and our distance is going to be 1.5 that will, will we will apply when we call this function then our upper boundary And if you see here, we are just playing with these two numbers only, the 75 and the 25 percentile. For defining the IQR, we are taking this, the subtraction of 75 minus the 25. For lower boundary, we are taking 25. And for upper boundary, we will take 75. So you just have to be around these two numbers, the 25 percentile and the 75 percentile or the quartiles. Then we will be writing here variable dot quantile and this time it will be 0 0.75 and here we will add it because we want to go above the 75 percentile or the 75 percent that is why we are adding it IQR into distance and then this function will return us upper boundary and the lower boundary let us execute our code now let us define the upper and lower boundary for our rm variable then we will call this and apply these boundaries to remove the outlier from the variable rm so i will make two variables upper boundary and then lower boundary and I will call this function find underscore boundaries and in this I will pass our data frame which is df and the variable name is rm and the distance is 1.5 let us execute our code and now if I print this upper boundary and lower boundary I will get these two boundaries and let me print this upper boundary and then lower boundary so we have these two boundaries here it says that any point above this 7.73 will be treated as an outlier and any point below this lower boundary that is 4.77 will be treated as an outlier. Now let's define a variable where we will uh, save the outliers 
let me make one variable outliers and then I will call this numpy and I will call the method where df of rm is greater than upper boundary this will be true so here I am saying that uh, we are calling this variable rm from our data frame and we are saying that wherever the value of this variable rm is greater than the upper boundary that is 7.730 give it or return us and then similarly we will do for the lower boundary np dot where df of rm which is lower which is less than the lower boundary gave us that is true otherwise false now let me execute the code and show you what values we are getting and I will execute it now if I print this outliers so we are we are getting the boolean values here and to get the actual values we need to apply this boolean values on the actual values of this variable rm and for that let me make one more variable I will write outliers underscore data frame then I will call df dot loc loc is the location and we want to get the location of outliers of rm so what we are doing here is we are creating a new variable outliers underscore data frame and then we are calling this function loc this give us the location of each and every point of a variable so we are saying that we want to get each and every point of this variable rm and which are present in this variable outliers and give us and return that in a new variable outliers underscore df now let us execute our code and if I call this outliers underscore df dot head here on the output you will see we got all the outliers here so it is telling us at this sample at this row number 97 we have one outlier row number 98 we have this outlier row number 162 we have outlier row number 163 we have this outlier then row number 166 we have this outlier there are many outliers we are just getting the top 5 and if I make it 10 then we will get 10 and one thing you will notice here that we have defined the boundaries for the outlier anything above this 7.7 .7 and anything below this 4.7 will be treated as an outlier and let us see if all the variables are 7 above 7.7 .7 or below 7 4.7 .7. so just remember this number 7.7 7.73 and here you will see in the output we are getting all the variables which are above 7.73 we have this 8, 7.8, 7.8, 8.3 and so on all these are treated as an outliers now we are going to plot it so earlier we had this plot now we will plot this variable again and we will see if we are getting the outliers again or not now I am going to make one variable df underscore new and in this variable I will save all the values which are not outlier I will call df dot loc and to get the values that are not outliers we will use this method or this sign tilde then outliers and then the variable rm so we are saying that from this variable rm we don't want to get the values which are outliers we just want to get the values which are normal and now we are going to plot it I will write sns dot box plot inside this I will pass my y axis which is df underscore new and then I will write plt dot title is going to be box plot and then plt dot show and let us execute our code this is box and plot I have to write box plot and here in the output you can see that we got the box plot with our new values here and you can see that we have removed all the outliers here 
our earlier plot was like this we had so many outliers here but our new plot is like this where we don't have outliers these are just one single points and they are at the end and they are not at the extreme end they are at the end but not at the extreme end we can use these points and this is how you do the outlier treatment using the method IQR so first you need to plot it then you can remove it and then you can clean it and your variable will become good this is how you can check the outlier in python i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching